everybody welcome to our home so this episode of Douglas and Esperanza Adventures we are going to show you the hidden bungalow and how everything turned out in here we're Douglas and Esperanza and we decided to leave our lives in the US sell almost everything we own and move to Baja California Sur where we decided to start a resort in the magical town of Loreto, Mexico. Please come with us to follow our journey and live before you die. You guys are probably wondering what it costs to build a secret house here in our garage in Mexico. Well, you're going to have to wait to the end of the video to find out, but let's take a tour right now. You are starting out at our kind of front door here where we come into the entrance. We've got some place to uh, hang our uh, coats and everything here. And while I give you the tour here, I'm also going to tell you things we would not do again because there are some things that we just didn't like how they turned out. So. For those of you who don't know, uh, this was our garage. It is our garage. We're inside the garage and we built a building inside our garage. We call the hidden bungalow. It's basically a one bedroom kind of little apartment here inside the garage. And we were able to build this thing very inexpensively. And we like how it turned out. We're gonna be living here probably for quite a while, maybe six seven eight years we don't know so uh we wanted to make it comfortable for us but uh as inexpensive as possible so this is our living room and uh we have our big huge like unbelievable size couch look at this and this is like it's like twice as deep as this because of all these pillows on it but uh it can definitely be a bed it's very comfortable and these are like goose down cushions so they're super uh soft and and plush okay we have our big huge window here that uh looks out to the uh pasture area where leo and sugar hang out and our and our little outside area i'll show you when we uh get to that and then uh over here, we've got a big storage armoire that we had. Uh, we just use it for storing linens and stuff like that. Uh, one of our cabinets that we hacked up and made into fit into this corner. That's all works perfect. And then on this side, the TV. And this is really important for us because we both have bad eyes. We both had LASIK surgery and didn't turn out great. And so, uh, we need a big screen so we can read like the menus on on uh, Netflix and all that. This is where we just hang out and do our uh, chilling at the end of the night. So this corner here is the office corner. And so this is where I make all the videos, I work on the website, I do all that kind of stuff here. Uh, and it's kind of my big workstation for uh, everything we do that brings us into the uh, kitchen area and so we've got everything you need in a kitchen here we have microwave we have a toaster oven uh, blender so we can make margaritas got to have that uh, curry egg and then um, sink we have a really nice six burner stove that uh, has the glass top, like the Mexican stove. We love that because it gives you an extra work surface if you want it. And helps to keep stuff from splattering onto the uh, couch. And then of course all the cabinets in here were all from our salvage cabinets. We've hacked everything together and made it all work. Uh, even building, I built these drawer uh, cabinets all by uh, custom and uh, did that out of uh, a cabinet that we had. We've got an old school refrigerator. Now this isn't those fancy 
we don't like the ones with double doors or the French doors or this and that. I, we just like the old school. Freezer on the top, refrigerator on the bottom. Uh, this is one we got actually a while ago. We got off, off the floor at Coppel. And yeah, and then here's, everybody's got to look in the refrigerator. Nothing too exciting in there. And um, one thing you'll probably notice, the ceiling. We do not have ceiling panels in here yet. Uh, that's because it's going to be a lot of work, a decent amount of money, several hundred dollars extra to do this. And uh, we just haven't got around to it. This all works fine. The lights all work. So, and when we need to turn the air conditioning, it's totally fine. So we're just going to leave it for now. And then we have the last of the kitchen, this very fancy dishwasher. And this was again from our salvage operation. So it has the matching cabinets and everything. And so we have our garage kitchen. And if you were to buy all these cabinets and get them custom made, uh, you know, this is tens of thousands of dollars worth of cabinets, but we uh, paid basically nothing for them because we got them in our deal that we use for uh, all the villas and here. All right, I want to show you one thing that was kind of a mistake on our part uh, and that is this okay you can see uh, that this is the epoxy floor that we did in here we're really happy with the epoxy floor and how it turned out but this part of the epoxy floor turned out with this rough surface that's almost sticky and we couldn't figure out why and I really did start to do a failure analysis on this. So this was the cut in that Esperanza did when she started and she cut in all around here with a brush. It was the first thing that she did. And how I figured out this, uh, this uh, failure analysis is that when the, the portion that she did at the very end is not doing this. It doesn't have this problem. So, what uh, I believe happened was we started do, using the epoxy before the pot time. And the pot time is when you mix up epoxy, you have to wait a certain amount of time before you start using it. And it's the time where the chemical reaction is going on. I think that we mixed it up there and Mexican chemicals, Mexican paints, Mexican anything like that has the most horrible instructions or no instructions whatsoever. I literally went online and looked at Sherwin-Williams Mexico site, looked at all the stuff for this epoxy. There's no instructions. They don't ever talk about pot time. They don't talk about anything. The instructions basically say mix the two parts together and paint and put it on. So uh, what I'm almost 100% sure happened, we didn't give it the pot time. It was still curing while Esperanza was doing the cut in. And by the time she got around to here, it had cured enough that we got past the pot time and then it cured properly on the floor. But here it didn't cure properly. It stayed a little sticky. It got dirt and dust in there. And now it looks cruddy. We may go back and get some more epoxy paint and try to recoat it and see if that'll fix it. Maybe somebody in the comments can let me know if they think that will fix it. If we clean it really well and then get some new epoxy paint and epoxy paint and try to cover it up, is that gonna fix it or not? Let us know if you know that down in the comments. And then we move into the laundry room. See, I can like go from room to room really quick here. Uh, because we are very efficient. We wanted efficiency. And so uh, this is a washer and dryer. We had these here. We moved them around a little bit so they would fit. We also have a, a little uh, big pantry cabinet here that we put in here. Oh, this, these are good. Here's my uh, teriyaki sticks that I love. We went up and got from the U.S. But this is my fa new favorite candy. Manguito Enchilado. Oh, they're so good. They're mango enchilado covered uh, mango candies. Oh, those are the best. All right. 
Let's move into the hallway and my closet. So we have this this big a piece that's actually the two sides that match the armoire in the other room. Uh, we use it for a bunch of storage. I don't really like that it looks junky because you know we've got random kind of kitchen stuff in here, and so that's why we've got to cover it up. It's just I don't like open cat the open uh, drawer or uh, shelves because you have to keep everything looking so nice and they never look nice for long all right we decided i decided to do a curtain or esperanza decided to do a curtain on the uh door to the closet and this is actually a shower curtain and she found these awesome rods hang from the ceiling perfect you don't need anything else and here is my Mexico closet, not a California closet. This is a Mexico closet. And so uh, this is all my stuff, all my clothes. And um, we built this all out of basically scraps of wood that we had left over from our construction project. But it's got everything we need and it works perfect. Then we've got this little back door entry area here. And this is where uh, Esperanza shoes are here. And um, we got a big mirror here so that we can get ready right outside the uh, uh, bathroom. So let me show you the bathroom next. This is the bathroom. If you guys have been watching the channel for a long time, you've probably seen this bathroom before. It is, uh, we, we built it when we built the garage. We've been using it ever since we first got here and it's got a nice big shower here uh i'm going to show you this feature here well show the shower first we got the nice big walk-in shower here uh that we really like it's totally big enough for everything we need and then i have my bidet toilet and this is uh i just love my bidet toilet it's one of the biggest things that i like and it's got the Fancy remote control bio bidet. If you guys haven't ever tried a bidet toilet, you need to because they are awesome. Okay, uh, we have the uh, the vanity here. There's a port in place concrete. Well, this is block, and then this is port in place concrete uh, countertop. Uh, I wouldn't do this again uh, because again, open cabinets with no doors you can't hide anything you know everything for the bathroom looks junky there's cleaners there's whatever your stuff that you're using it just kind of looks junky there's no way to make it look nice and so uh when you have a functional bathroom so you need doors to cover it we wouldn't do that again i don't think we do the concrete top again because as i feared you know there's cracks um it's been painted so the paint is not really holding up that great. So probably wouldn't do that again either. One other thing that I wouldn't probably do again is the faucet. This is a Mexican faucet, Mexican brand, really inexpensive. And this is what you get. The finish is all like off of there and uh, it's not in great shape. It was cheap, but it's gonna end up having to be replaced after only like a year of use. So uh, for faucets, they usually don't have US faucets here. So I would probably in the future get all my faucets from the US, bring them down. They just, Moen or Delta or a good brand faucet is gonna last you a long time and you aren't gonna have to replace your faucets every year or two. Um, don't mind the electric cord here. I'll just cover that up. That's not there. No, that's for my bidet toilet. I wasn't sure that I was gonna use a bidet toilet in here, so I didn't put a special outlet down there for the toilet uh, seat, which needs power. And now it's just kind of plugged in here. I don't mind it, but it looks kind of junky. So, so you can draw your own conclusion. <laughs> All right. And then the last room of the house is the bedroom. Don't they always say this is where all the magic happens, you know, in the bedroom? And, uh, oh, we've got our big king bed here. So nice. And so, uh, 
yeah this is our bedroom so uh we've got some art in here this is esperanza's closet i promised esperanza i would not show inside her closet because she is organizationally challenged and i have offered to help her with organization skills in her closet but she's not interested she's got her own way of doing things and most people would say it's a pigsty but I love her so we just keep the, the curtains closed. <laughs> this is a little tapestry that we have. We actually have these in the villas too. They're a really cool Mexican blanket. And then I want to show you the view out here. So as we are in the garage still, you can see that we wanted to get some natural light in here in the bedroom. We placed this window so that it was right across from the back door in the shop. And that way we can open that door, get light in here and have it nice. We can open this window uh, when, we, when we want to and uh, maybe we can open it. Oh, there it goes. Boom, look at that. Uh, we open this window, get a breeze through here, cool it down. We also, I put in this fancy ceiling fan. Look at that, it even matches the wood grain. Now you notice this is kind of really a uh, cabin -y in here because we decided to leave these walls all wood grain because we're lazy and we don't want to paint and i hate painting so we just left it all wood grain but i think it looks awesome and we have our air conditioner in here so we are all set for everything all right let's go outside and take a look so this is our uh, trailer of course that uh we're selling we have now one per two people interested one person that may be coming next week uh, to buy it so hopefully we'll have this thing sold in another week or so and then this is was our previously kind of our outdoor area but we moved that around we did get a bunch of new plants from a friend we spent the last couple days planning all this stuff and so uh, when we build our house this is gonna be a flower bed by the front door and so we planted a bunch of plants in here and there's a bunch of this mother-in-law tongue and I could not resist it. This stuff, you can keep it forever and it won't die and then you can plant it. So we have to figure out where it's all going. A lot of it's going to go down behind the bench at the villas and uh, some other stuff. But this is the only stuff we still don't have planted. The, the the, the mother-in-law tongue and then we got some papyrus that i've got to figure out i think i'm going to put it in a pot okay let's head around the corner here now we like to name our buildings and we name this the oasis or oasis oasis in espanol and uh the oasis was the name of our last house and this is kind of the baja or oasis but i haven't made the baja part of the sign yet this is our uh area that's kind of our outdoor area and this is the sign that our builder made for us douglas and esperanza and we are going to build a patio cover over this once we sell the trailer get a little bit of money uh, most of that's going to go for other stuff, but we're going to uh, build a patio cover over here. That will give us a place to get out of the sun during the summer and hang out outside. And it also will uh, give us some shade for the front window. And there's our puffer fish. Which we've had for a long, long time, long before we ever thought of puffer fish villas. All right. Let's go around here and you can see here's the front door and oh my gosh I just thought I got to show you guys something we have a feature in here I'll show you at the end the really cool feature that uh, we have all right and I'll show you just how this thing's set in here so this is our garage and uh, we have a door out into the garage that goes into the living room here and you can just see this whole building is built inside the garage here and uh, it goes around and then this is the bedroom.
door that, that is on the outside door of the garage. So uh, really easy and really simple. So the first time I did this when I was here, I put this garage door down and I was like, does this remind you of something? That's right, we have a purge house. So I know what everybody is thinking. How much did it cost to build this apartment inside our garage? So why we did it is because we were trying to save money to build a standalone building here, even in Mexico, that size with everything that we have in there, uh, you probably would be $80,000, 60 to $80,000 to build the building from uh, nothing and put in the foundation and all that. So uh, that was the alternative. We spent under $8,000. That includes air conditioning, that includes uh, all the finishing inside and everything else and so uh you know it was a way for us to very inexpensively get a really nice place to live for the next who knows how many years thanks everybody for watching i hope maybe this inspired some people that you know you don't have to go traditional if you uh really think about it you can do some untraditional stuff like building a house inside of a, your garage save a whole bunch of money and still have a really cool place to live. So thanks everybody for watching and never forget to, to live, live before, before you die. die.